Side of it next to last. 500 left to go. Flying raw for Jason Brown. Brings them up to the turn. 500 from home. Leading by a length. Stalking it here on the outside with the white shadow roll. Born Supremacy going easily for Noski. Two lengths behind them. Mad Brad just trying to muscle his way out from Showy Chloe and rule to win coming off the back of the pace. At the 250, Noski went to work. Born Supremacy hit the front. Rule to win Showy Chloe though. Gunning him down with 100 left to go. Born Supremacy tackled by Showy Chloe. In the middle, she reaches the lead from Born Supremacy. Rule to win Showy Chloe, the filly too good. The big... Jane and now Jason Pateman. Jace, uh, a pretty tough day. And does, I guess this probably means a lot to everybody involved. Yeah, I just want to send me best out there, Aaron. That's all. Cheers. Well done, mate. We've got William Pite now as well. We'll wait for him to uh, weigh in. But as we said, a very good performance there by Showy Chloe. Dropping down to the 1,000 metres. The freshen up uh, certainly helped out there, William. Yeah, it did. Um... Jason made a good point before the race that uh, she's always trialled very, you know, exceptionally well against some pretty nice horses. Uh, you know, last prep I think she trialled against Black Art Bart and, and actually looked really impressive. So uh, he made the smart move, freshened her up, and he said, uh, well, it's smart now, but uh, it's, uh, no, he's done a great job. He's turned her up here today. She looks beautiful and she went good. She's obviously won over the 1,400 metres twice now, but do you think with those freshen ups at 1,000 or 1,200 metres, she could really find her own? Because as you mentioned, she's had the speed plenty of times. Um, it's hard to well, look, we'll go one or two more times before we make a definite decision, but uh, I was really happy with the way she ran right through the line. Um, she didn't, didn't peak or anything, and she ran right through the line. It's a sign of a horse going good. Were you hoping for more speed out there? Um, I was sort of okay with it. I ended up with an all right spot. Uh, didn't jump that well, so I was actually okay with it. If they had gone rip-tearing speed, I probably would have been off the bit and not been able to pick my feet up. There's been plenty of rain throughout the week, but the track seems to be holding up magnificently. Uh, yeah, probably the best wet weather track you'll ever see. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Thank you.